Hello, this is Scott Horst at the Adult Services Department at Muskingum County Library System speaking with you today. We're going to look at an, another database and we're going to be showing you Culturegrams, which is a ProQuest database. It's particularly useful for school students if you're wanting to um, research things on a country or even a, a state. And we're going to be showing you some of that today. First of all, how do you get to it? When you get into muskinghamlibrary.org, look for the research heading where I've highlighted on the screen. And right under that, you see research databases. I've already clicked on that, so we're at that point. From there, just pull down the page. It is a featured database, so you'll be looking at where it is highlighted. And there you can see we've reached ProQuest Culturegrams. Just go ahead and click anywhere on that icon, and we are in it. There's four main headings on here. You can see there's a World Edition, Kids Edition, States Edition, and Provinces Edition. Uh, the Provinces Edition is for the provinces of Canada. Uh, we won't be looking at that today, but you're welcome to look at that sometime, particularly if you have to do a school assignment on a province of Canada. We're going to look at the Kids Edition because that's most what's used for school assignments. So just go to where the Explore icon is and click on that. And there you can see it gives you a map and gives you the, the continents of the world on that. And you can do a search from there wherever you want to go. Let's just go into Europe. Click on that. And we're going to go what's sometimes called the Czech Republic, but this is Czechia. And we're going to click on that. And you can see you pull up a number of things. It'll tell you uh, over on the left-hand side things about the climate, population, the language, and their history, and their lifestyle, how they live today, holidays, things like that. Let's click on the holidays real quick and see what, and there they're telling you about Christmas Eve, Easter, All Saints Day. Uh, Czechia is a largely Roman Catholic country, so those tend to follow the Roman Catholic calendar on that. Back up a step, we'll look at something else on here. There's food heading right under the holidays, under the lifestyles. You click on that and it talks about food. They eat a lot of dumplings on here. And if you don't believe me, come up here at the top and you'll see recipes listed. And now we have to go to C and pull down and Chech Chechia's is right under there at the bottom, since it's a CZ in the spelling. And there you can see mushrooms with eggs, a word I'm not going to try to pronounce, but it's fruit dumplings is what it is. As I told you, they eat a lot of dumplings in the Czech Republic. Roast sirloin and cream sauce, and it gives you the instructions how to make it, and another one that I can't pronounce, and you probably couldn't either unless you are Czech in your background, and it's potato dumplings, and it gives you instructions and, and ingredients on that so you can fix that. That's often interesting if you're doing a school report and you have to include a recipe, which is often required on that. They'll show you photos. but it brings you back. It's not going to be uh, the Czech Republic just yet. You'll see you have different continents here and you have to go to Europe and then they do it alphabetically and there's Czechia or the Czech Republic there. And you can see all sorts of things. Uh, Prague at night, Prague is the largest city in the capital. And here you can see it's a pretty scene. And you can see other pictures on here if you're interested. That gives you a little feel for what's under an individual country on that. And you can search other countries in Europe. This is a great browsing tool because it, you can go all sorts of patterns and that to get back to where you're 
starting, and we're going to get back to the main list there for Czech, Czech Republic and that. And it gives you facts on that, which is if you need to do a school report. If you need the flag, they show you a picture of the flag, which you can print as a PDF and give you quick facts. Again, the capital's Prague, what their population is, and their currency, which is the Karuna. And you can listen to the country's anthem if you wish. There's a number of choices on here. So that gives you an individual country. If you noticed when we were at the beginning that there's a states edition. So let's click on here and take a look a little bit about Ohio. See how much you recognize about Ohio. You can go to the map where I have and where I've got the pointer on and just click on where Ohio is on the map. And it gives you facts about Ohio, like the Pro Football Hall of Fame is in Canton. And there's a listing, uh, historical information, the timeline, original Ohioans, talking about that early Native Americans that lived here in Ohio and the various sections of Ohio. Uh, statehood and sea battles. Did you know there was a sea battle fought in Ohio? And if you say, well, where was it? It was on Lake Erie and for, during the War of 1812. And the Battle of Lake Erie took place and where the United States troops defeated the British and captured five ships and it tells you in the paragraph here. And if you want to know famous Ohioans, come down here to the heading, the people, and it lists famous people. And it gives you some photos of some famous people as well as, and some of them are presidents. So if you know Ohio's presidents already, you'll see that on there. And if you have ever heard of Toni Morrison, um, she was born in Ohio, though she didn't live long in Ohio, she was born here. And she's a famous author. And actress Halle Berry is another example in that. And they include the photos there on the top. So there's lots of information you can use on that. Again, there's a quick facts like you saw for the Czech Republic over here, giving you the capital and population on that. And you have the flag just the issue, like you did for the Czech Republic. And you can print it out as well on that. It gives the map of Ohio, the motto. And if you wanted the outline map, you can print that out as well. For those of you in upper grades, if you'll notice, to clear down at the bottom, you can click on either the APA 6th edition or the MLA Modern Language Association 8th edition. And you can click on that and that will give you uh, the way to cite it for use in a paper on that. And of course, you have recipes for Ohio as well. Let's take a look at that. And you have apple cake. And of course, it wouldn't be complete with having Buckeyes for dessert. And it tells you how to make Buckeyes if you didn't already know how to do that. So this gives you some idea of what's available to you on culture grams. Uh, if you are a school teacher or a homeschool teacher, teacher by chance, you can also go into here and take a look and it will give you some lesson plans on that. And that can be quite useful as well. So the, as you can see, there is the world edition for the countries as we went, we went through the kids edition and there is a world edition. It will give some more comprehensive political science, history, government type information on that. And there's also the Canadian provinces as well as the states, which we explored. So I hope you take the opportunity and look at this. And I think it will be helpful for you, especially if you're having to do a project from home related to school. I thank you for listening today and hope you get to enjoy Culture Grimms. Thank you.